Fuck it up, guys. Evil Steve under the knife. Uh, first off, what we're going to need is a small Phillips screwdriver, uh, a small tri wing screwdriver, a larger Phillips screwdriver, a small flat head screwdriver, and a small pair of long nose pliers if you have them. Okay, so first make sure you remove the disc, then unplug all your cables and first off we're going to remove the top covers. Okay, these just unclip. Okay, so remove the covers like so. Okay, covers removed. You'll find that we've got three black Phillips screws along this top edge. For this, we'll use the small Phillips screwdriver. Okay, done. It helps if you've got a piece of A4 white paper in order to keep all your screws on uh -huh. uh, because they are small and you don't want to be losing them okay so I think that one's loose we'll try popping up the cover now There's some little clips on here so I'll go gently should unclip and there you go so, top cover removed. Now, will you put this top cover at the top of the A4? And we'll put the black screws alongside it, like so. Okay. And once we've removed the face plate, we need to remove, you'll see you've got two silver tri-wing screws and two silver Phillips screws. The Phillips screws can stay where they are. So we're going to remove the two silver tri-wing located here and here. Okay. Let's remove them. And again keep them in line underneath your face plate so you know in reverse order the way they're going back okay so now we've removed those two next turn it over with the front facing us okay and we're going to remove the two rubber feet to the back of the unit okay do for this we'll use the the small flat screwdriver just simply prise them up like so and it's a good idea to just stick them back on where you took them from so you know where they're going and so you know you don't lose them okie do we'll stick them back there the two front feet can stay where they are, but the two front stickers to the side of the feet, we can just lift them up and again we'll pop them just back there. Like so. So we don't, we don't lose them, we don't want to lose them. Okay, do Then you'll see we've got two tri-wing screws, which are black at the front. And we've got two tri-wing screws underneath the feet at the back. So we need to remove those. 
again take the trailing screwdriver and remove those to black from the front the two silver from the back So, and again it's a good idea if you've got a pen handy just make a note silver and on the back feet black from under stickers okay it's okay taking it apart <laughs> we gotta put it all back together okay then we turn the unit on its side so we can see the base with the four little rubber feet okay for this we'll get the small flat screwdriver and we'll remove the foot opposite the battery compartment okay and pop it there and there's a sticker just here lift him out the way stick him there and underneath this you'll see we've got a black Phillips screw. Under the sticker we have a silver tri-wing screw. So we're going to remove those. Take the Phillips screwdriver and remove the black Phillips screw. From under the foot, like so, and we'll take the tri-wing screwdriver and do the tri-wing from under the sticker, and again, make a note, okay, then we've got the battery compartment, which is a silver Phillips screw, we're going to remove that. Okay, this then I'll just lift out and we'll place in there. Okay, go. Next, you'll see we've got a tri wing screw, silver, which is here. Silver tri wing, we'll remove that from underneath the battery cover, like so. Place it alongside the battery. Okay, go. So we know where that's going. Okay. We can now turn it on its back. And as we remove the top cover gently, you will see just here, front cover, these two wires just here, with a little plug on it, just on the inside. Just a little clip. So if you take your long nose pliers, Pinch the clip, it'll just unclip like so. There it is. Okay? Don't want to be snapping him off. Okay, do Once we've removed the top plate, we can now basically and gently remove. Cover, like so. Okay. So there we go. Now you can see the hard drive. On the hard drive, we've got one, two, three, four, 
three, four Phillips screws. Okay. Go. So with the larger screwdriver, we'll remove the four Phillips screws. One, two. It helps if you've got a magnetic Phillips screwdriver for these back two because they have a tendency to drop in the unit. So if you've got a Phillips which is magnetic, great stuff. Okay, don't. There we go. Okay. Now we can remove the hard drive, but it's best if we have it facing towards us, where you'd insert the disc, okay? Okay, with the screws removed, you can gently lift the hard drive and just underneath to the left is the power cable which sits under a plastic plate. You can gently pull it from the plastic plate and there you see it'll pop up a bit more. There's a little plug here which connects to the circuit board. This gently will clip out and the ribbon is attached via this little clip which when you lift the flap as you can see the ribbon just comes away. Okay everything has got to go back in reverse just to show this as you can see is the original hard drive from when we bought the Wii. This is the new replacement hard drive which I'm told uh, is a D4 version as you can see the difference uh, the circuit boards a lot smaller it's supposed to be fitted with a better disc reader capable of reading uh, the war games if you like Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops, MWR it's supposed to read them better we'll see okay but as you can see there is a difference so don't be alarmed if you pick one of these up and think it's not the right one I've been told it is so we'll get rid of the old and in reverse we have now got to reinstall the new. Okay.